finish him. Get over here! I'm Devin from Super 8-Bit, and today we're going to venture into the world of Blizzard Entertainment. We're at their headquarters right now, and we're going to be hearing from some developers about ideas and what they're doing in the future of Activision Blizzard to keep their company growing and keep it moving. And at the end of it all, we're going to be able to find out what they're doing for their new MMO, Project Titan. As a new initiative here at Blizzard, we have a new project known as Project Metzen. A Blizzard-based console using Battle.net has an interface for purchasing games. Coming standard with Project Metzen is a hologram touch interface that requires no hardware and is all projected for only the most extreme WoW players. Since Activision's merger with Blizzard, we've been able to broaden our horizons and all the options we have. Since then, we've been able to do things like Guitar Hero, Level 80 Elite Tour and Chieftain, which would mix our Blizzard band with their hit game Guitar Hero. We've also had opportunities to do Call of Duty maps that involve our major cities and all of our war zones. On a more serious note though, they have offered to be included in our next expansion, which would also include both Call of Duty and Guitar Hero within the game mechanics. Here at Blizzard we're all about expansion. That's why this fall we're opening a chain of Blizzard supermarkets selling only the finest World of Warcraft ingredients. Our new supermarkets will allow you to buy your favorite food and drink items from World of Warcraft and eat them along with your characters. This includes mana potions, health potions, and murloc tacos. With companies like EA, it's a little bit hard to decide on what we're going to do to match up with them. Their competition mainly lies in the sports game genre. Their football market is really big with their Madden games, so we've decided to use Diablo with football and came up with John Elway Football Presents Diablo Tristram Football Knockdown, where you get to play as all the 32 teams in the NFL, but also we've added a football team that includes Diablo and Bale and Mephisto that you can play as in that game. Is there anything you can tell us about Project Titan? We are ready to announce that for Project Titan, we're using a Blizzard patented pay for what you play system. This includes starting out with two races, and if you would like to play as any additional races, they each cost five dollars. You can create the name of your character, however if you would like to choose the class, that's another five dollars. Once you start the game, each level increase is one dollar. Each quest is also a dollar, and every time you reach ten, twenty, or any successive ten amount in your level, it will be five dollars. So how will the subscription base work for this? Well, essentially, the total you amass through a month of gameplay, both through leveling, questing, and creating characters, will be added up, and the total will be what you pay for that month. Each month is based on what you've done that month, which is why we've patented it as pay for what you play. Well, they've unveiled it, so now let's see how people react. What do you guys think about what they do in MMO? Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, it's pretty sweet, huh? Dice, approved. Approved. Blizzard is most known for their MMO World of Warcraft, which has amassed over 12 million players worldwide. Eight million. Eight, eight million players worldwide. Wait, no, seven. Seven, now. seven million players worldwide. It just went down to five. Okay, just saying five. Millions of players worldwide, and with that, they have made such a reputation, it's uncomparable. Now the question on everybody's mind is, do you expect Diablo to come out this year? We don't speculate on rumors. We're, we're done here. We're done. No. We're it's done. Just, I did, we're just asking a simple question. I don't know. 